Dear viewers, we now turn our attention to one of the finest Italian spinto sopranos who is very well known for singing a huge array of roles from the bel canto repertoire to the verismo repertoire and even to some forays into some Mozart operas and to some French operas. I'm of course talking about Daniela Desi who was extremely well known in roles ranging from Fior de Ligi to Donna Elvira to Antonia from Tales of Hoffman to Micaela from Carmen to Gilda from Rigoletto and even to the heavier stuff singing roles like Maria Stuarda, Elisabetta from Don Carlo, Aida from Giuseppe Verdi's Aida, Desdemona from Otello, Chocho San from Madame Butterfly to the more dramatic soprano roles of Tosca from Tosca and Turandot, even though she also started off as Liu before transcending into this more iconic and very thankless yet very challenging and very rewarding role. I first knew Signora de C completely by chance, and that was when I was a 9 or 10 year old boy in violin classes, and every time my turn wasn't called up or every time it was finished, I would look through this music magazine that my violin teacher had, and I would flip the page over to where a page consisting of a CD of Verdi's Don Carlo starring Luciano Pavarotti, Samuel Raimi, Paolo Conni, Luciana Dentino, and Alexander Anisimov, and of course Daniela De Si was on there. And it also featured a picture of Daniela De Si as Elisabetta. I was completely curious, and when I reached the age of 10, I was pretty curious about this singer, researching lots of stuff about her online. I also realized that she not only sang this really fine and challenging role of Elisabetta from Don Carlo, but she also sang roles like Desdemona from Otello, Elena from I Vespri Siciliani, Elvira from Hernani, Chocho San from Madama Butterfly, Liu from Turandot, and a great array of full lyric and spinto soprano roles specifically in the Italian repertoire, whether they be from Verdi, Puccini, Mascagni, Leoncavallo, Giordano, Cilea, and many, many others. One clip from YouTube that really, really stroked me and really hit me every time I heard her sing was her portrayal of Adriana Le Couvreur from, of course, Francesco Chile as Adriana Le Couvreur. I heard some samples of her singing this wonderful role and even her little cat fight with Olga Borodina as La Principessa de Bouillon. And when she went into Fedra's monologue, I thought she delivered this type of performance in a very unselfconscious manner and in a way that felt really natural to her without pushing, without forcing. And she really knew how to really master this character to the best of her abilities. And yes, she did have some detractors who kind of crit criticized her into really going into more of the heavier repertoire, like singing roles like Turandot and Tosca and Santuzza, and even some fair share of detractors with her Norma, but there has been no shortage of fans who have definitely supported her in this really tough and very exciting yet very challenging career of her as an opera singer. I personally felt that no matter which role she did, I always felt like she gave what she had in terms of her voice, and she really knew how to use her spinto soprano instrument to the best of her abilities. Some examples really involve not only the likes of Adriana Le Couvreur, 
but also the likes of Desdemona from Otello, Fior de Ligi from Cosi Fan Tutte, and um, Donna Elvira from Don Giovanni, and even from her younger years singing Giulietta's aria from Bellini's I Capuletti e Montichi, singing Ecco mi in quelletta, then going into the cavatina, o quante volte, which I thought she did absolutely fabulously. She was just wonderful in singing that aria, especially in her younger years. And even though she may not be a super high note singer, she was definitely someone who was a very natural portrayer of all of these roles. Someone who didn't need any gimmicks whatsoever. And even if she's had her fair share of criticisms when she did roles like Turandot and Tosca, Santuzza and Norma, she still had us, her fans, backing her up. And she still had her fair share of supporters giving her a lot of willpower because this was definitely a singer who who had a very fine voice, which was well manipulated, well tuned, and with great sense of musicianship, which you really have to give someone like Madama Desi loads and loads of credit for. She was definitely someone who sort of played a big part of my childhood in the world of opera. It wasn't just the likes of Luciano Pavarotti, Placido Domingo, Jose Carreras, Nicolai Guedda, Carlo Bergonzi, Giuseppe Tadei, Giuseppe Di Stefano, Maria Callas, Victoria dos Angeles, Gigi Bjerling, and many, many other fine opera singers, even the likes of Leontine Price, but it was also Daniela De C in her own special way, who managed to really give off a very fine vocal portrayal of all of these roles that she managed to get herself embodied in. I really love the roles in which she embodied, and I also have to really give a huge, huge thanks, especially in terms of her technique, which was a very focused and very rich and creamy soprano instrument, which she used very well. And even though I have never seen her live, and mostly based on my experiences with seeing her on YouTube and listening to a couple of recordings, I still have to give my hat off to her for everything she had to offer in the world of opera. And to you, Signora de Si, thank you so much for all the years you had to contribute your talent, your skill, and your overall love for your craft and for really making the best out of everything you did and really making us feel invested in those performances, even though some of the roles according to a lot of musical experts, may have been a huge stretch for your voice. I still have to really give you loads of credit for what you had to embody and for what you had to offer. Well, that's all for now. I hope you all enjoyed my video tribute to Senora de Si. And tune in later for something that is a little bit more optimistic, in which I also make a tribute to the three original Nicktoons, out of being Rugrats, Doug, and Ren and Stimpy. So until then, see you later guys, and to you, Senora de Si, thank you very much. May you rest in peace, and may your exciting, magical, and exciting career and just wonderful career be a huge legacy to look forward to for future generations to come. Thank you very much for your awesome artistry.